So today I'll be talking about how we can use uh, mathematical models, mathematical equations, uh, specifically partial differential equations, to look at modelling the growth of cancers and solid tumours and uh, I'll be talking about how to make predictions that will really actually try and help clinicians and doctors who are trying to uh, treat patients. So the blood vessels bring oxygen, but when they get into the cancer cells, the cancer cells compress the blood vessels and so shut down the oxygen, but that then leads to more chemicals being sent out to make more blood vessels. So you've got a very uh, interesting coupling between the blood vessels and the cancer cells, the compression and the oxygen, and the recruitment of more blood vessels. It mainly will involve uh, differential equations which describe the motion of uh, objects under forces basically and we'll be applying this reasoning to cells. So how cells respond to external stimuli, uh, how they move and migrate and proliferate in response to that which is the, the basis of uh, cancer growth. Uh, and using the equations we'll be trying to predict uh, how the cells spread in the body and uh, use that information to help uh, doctors treat patients eventually. I hope. I'm going to show you a little movie from an experimental lab and in the, this is a, a, um, a, a movie of a, a petri dish and in the petri dish there are some amoebae and uh, you'll see there's a little glass thing there, that's a pipette and some experimentalist is going to uh, squirt some chemical into the petri dish and that's going to stimulate the amoeba to do something. I thought uh, the title of uh, Can Calculus Cure Cancer would be catchy and uh, maybe grab people's attention uh, and show them uh, that maths can be involved in real world applications uh, rather than uh, perhaps people's stereotypes of, uh, of, of what maths is and formulae and uh, adding up numbers but uh, uh, to show that maths has real serious applications in the real world. Uh, maths underpins all of science and I think if you study uh, maths it, it gives you uh, a real insight into all scientific uh, phenomena. Uh, at a real deep level and uh, in addition to being uh, beautiful in, a, in and of itself uh, it really does underpin all the branches of science, physics, chemistry and uh, as my talk will show uh, biology and the life sciences and uh, medicine. I'd say uh, have fun and enjoy yourself uh, and uh, en enjoy the beauty of mathematics and uh, know that it can lead to uh, real life applications, solving real life problems and, and at the end of the day uh, helping people uh, in their day-to-day their -day life.